All right, so just did the gear reduction to my Honda. These are the stock secondary gears. I replaced them with those aftermarket ones for about a 10% reduction. 10%, $315. Seems like a lot of money. It's worth it, trust me. If you don't think I'm right, don't do it. Um, some pro tips on this bike. Always, every time you take the shock off, grease the piss out of the bushing in here. There's still a little sealed bushing and thingy, and there's a wash on each side. If you don't grease it, water's going to get in there. And if you ride water, it's going to wear out and clunk around. So grease that every chance you get. Grease this every chance you get. Grease these every chance you get. Little seals in there in the bushings. Grease that whole thing. There's a pin that goes through there. It's eight of them. Grease them. Grease is good. Uh, fill this thing up with grease. It doesn't have that much grease in from the factory. I pumped it full of grease on both sides. Grease the spline. Stuck it all back together. Good to go. Um, what other pro tip that I have for you? Okay. This hose right here. This is your crankcase breather to your airbox. I have seen multiple people do a gear reduction, do some kind of work on the back of the motor, and not hook this back up to the airbox. That is the biggest concept error you can do. That is what we call a gross concept error. Water will go in this tube straight into your crankcase. Your motor will be done. I'm talking crankshaft, piston, everything. Done. Just fucked. Always, always, always. Anytime you do any work on the bike that you could have hit this, pulled it off, looked at it wrong, before you ride the bike, check to make sure this crankcase breather is back on the airbox. Um, another thing people do all the time is the diff breather right here. See the diff line? People forget to put this back on the diff when they pull this off. Oh, the, the rear end swings off so easy. Just three bolts. Boom. Done. Yeah, you got to remember two things. Put this back on and put that breather back on. Otherwise, you're screwed. Um, I did have to do a little bit of grinding in there to fit the gear reduction on the shift linkage. You had to round the back of it off. So you can actually slip the shift linkage out of the engine. I have a picture of it. I'll post later. Shift the, You can slip it out of the engine without doing any other work. As long as you put it in right, it'll slide all the way back through the engine into the front clutch cover. Everything will work fine. It'll shift good, right? But you take it out of the bike, grind it, put it back in the bike. Do not grind it in the bike. It's stupid. It comes out way too easy. Uh, there's your rear brakes and everything. Uh, putting the airbox back in is kind of tricky. A um, couple things to look out for is don't force it. Like it goes in at the right angle. None of the boots will get pulled, and it'll be fine. Keep the wires routed the factory way. This, I recommend putting some ultra gray when you put this. This is like the airbox temperature sensor or some shit. I recommend ultra graying it in because I think it leaks a little bit. Um, yeah, that's about all the pro tips I got for you guys now, but gear reduction is definitely worth doing.